I don't know if I have audio. Mia, do I have audio? Yes. Oh, we've got audio. Okay. Let's just quick review what we just said. We are working on dive cartwheels today. Okay, girls, let's do that first drill one more time again. To start out with dive cartwheels, we're going to do a cartwheel. A cartwheel. We're going to turn that second hand in, look underneath the armpit, and watch our feet hit the ground. So we've just got our helper Haley over here, and she is making sure that they are doing that correct. Raylan, let's get you to try it one more time. So again, things that we are looking for, second hand to be turned in. That should be your non-dominant hand. Looking underneath the armpit, watching the feet hit the ground. Good. It's a little easier in fast motion, but we do like to stop them in the middle to make sure that they are doing it correct. We've got our panel mat set up. We put them over the, the middle of the panel mat over a line because we are going to be doing these on balance beam one day. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our front leg, that's our dominant leg, onto the mat. We're going to circle our arms up, back around and down. So what they're going to do right now is get that arm circle down, arm circle down, practice it a few times girls, and now we're going to add in the push through the front leg. So we're going to do arm circle, push through the front leg, dive cartwheel. Go ahead, give it a go. These are my advanced gymnasts that I usually don't get to work with. Good, let's try it again. Let's try it again. All right, foot up on the mat, arms up, Around, go. Love that second hand turning in. I need more lift, I need more lift. Let's push through that front leg and lift before the cartwheel. Arms up, around, down, push, lift. Yes, yes Madison, yes Raylan, good. Okay girls, let's move these panel mats away. Grab the super sliders. We're gonna use our tumble track super sliders for this drill. Very good, Paisley. Paisley's over there telling me that she um, was doing her back handspring on medium beam. Front tuck and a front layout in the same day, that's awesome. Okay, <laughs> so for this drill here, what we're going to do is put our back leg, which is our non-dominant leg, on the tumble track super sliders. Yes, and we are going to make sure that we are aggressively pushing through our back leg because that is an important part of the dive cartwheel and an important part of the cartwheel, the round off, the aerial. We're gonna make sure that they're pushing these super sliders straight back behind them and really, really far. Who can give me a good demonstration? Just both of you do it. Let's see. Okay, now both of those super sliders stayed really close to the purple line, which I really like. Now I would like to see a little more aggressive, a little more aggressive, so they're not doing a dive cartwheel just yet. This is just a cartwheel, but we're making sure we're aggressively pushing through the back leg. Go ahead. Oh, so they both did the same thing that time. Now, why did those super sliders go to the side? Do you know, Madison? Because why? Because you twisted your hips too early. That's right. So when we do a cartwheel, we want to make it look like we're going for a handstand or a front walkover. And then at the last second, that's when we turn, before those hands hit the ground. Go ahead. So don't twist those hips too early. Good, good try. Okay, Haley, I'm gonna let you hold this for a second. I'm gonna do a little demonstration here. Can I borrow your super slider, Madison? So focus in this drill is literally all through the back leg. I really don't care about anything else right now. Kind of, kind of. I'm gonna borrow yours. Let's see. So we're trying to push it back behind us. Oh gosh! Why, why is it going to the side, girls? Because I'm doing the side kick. So what we want is for this leg to kick, use our butt to kick, and then turn. What we're doing is this, and using the side of our hip to kick, which is just not as strong, honestly. Go ahead and try two more of these, girls. We want to use our strongest muscle, which would be our glute. Good try. Yes, Raylan got it on that one. Awesome. One more time. One more time, girls. And then we'll try the dive cartwheel. Okay, go put those super sliders back up. Those tumble track super sliders going away. And next, let's 
put it all together. So smart gymnasts always take their drills and apply it to their skills. Let's take all those drills that we just did, apply it to the dive cartwheel. So we're gonna do the arm circle, we're gonna do an aggressive push through the front leg, an aggressive kick through the back leg, turn the hand in, look underneath the armpit, give it your best try. Hi, little ones. Okay, do it again, where's the dive? Where's the dive? I need a lift and a dive. Lift and dive, lift. Good, try one more girls. Lift and dive, lift and, oh, oh, got a little messed up on that one, try again Madison. Push, lift, good, all right. Madison, you can try an aerial. Go ahead. Make sure we're still looking underneath the armpit, even though the arms aren't on the ground. Still looking underneath the armpit, watch the feet land. Hmm, okay, that's close, that's close. Use more of the dive car wheel in the aerial. Try again. Lift, push. That was better, good. You wanna try a really, really big dive car wheel for me? So the hands hit the ground last second. Really big. All right, so that just went arms to ears and then you brought them down with you. Arms go around and then go to them. So you wanna get that chest to your leg. Chest to your leg. Chest to your leg. Okay, good try. One of the most common corrections that we give with dive cartwheels and side aerials is that they're trying to reach too far out. So they're doing this motion, which just is not as powerful. What we want to do is this. And that chest is gonna go down into their leg. So we don't wanna have so much space in between their chest and their thigh. We wanna kinda cancel out that space. All right, thank you girls for helping me today. Say goodbye.